Hi folks, so this is the this is question seven. This is the first of the long questions. So it gives us the rates that you must pay for USC. So that's this is just a tax basically in Ireland. So uh the first twelve thousand and twelve of your wages, okay. So um if you earn whatever it doesn't matter how much you earn, but the first twelve thousand and twelve of that you'll pay zero point five percent on that amount. And then for the next 8,472 euro that you earn, you'll pay 2% on that much of it. And then the next 49,560, so that'll be, um, that'll kind of get, um, that'll include how much most people in Ireland earn altogether. On that amount, then you pay 4.5%. Um, and then if there's anything then left over, so that'll only be people who earn, you know, uh, more than probably seventy thousand. Uh, so the majority of people wouldn't earn that in Ireland. Um, they are they pay the top rate then, so they don't give us the top rate yet. Uh, so the first question: At what level of annual income does a worker start paying the top rate of USC? So we just need to add all these together then so it's the first 12,012 euro you earn and then the next 8,472 and then the next 49,560 so if you earn more than all of that then you'll pay the top rate on whatever on top of that you earn so we just need to add them together for this so that will be Seventy thousand and forty-four. So if you earn a, and I mean if you earn even one euro more than that, then in the year, than the seventy thousand and forty-four, so that would be a lot of money to be earning. But then you would you'd have to pay the top rate. So that's what, that's all you have to do for part A. Part B asks then, um so it's how much they'll a work would have to pay if you pay the maximum amount due at each of the first three rates so the first rate is 12,012 euro at 0 0.5 percent so 12,012 euro and you could times it by 0 0.5 and use the percentage button there on your calculator if you want or what you do is you can change it into a decimal so 0 0.005 so that's what zero, uh, that's what point five percent would be as a decimal, and then uh, the next amount then is eight thousand four hundred seventy-two, and that is at I think it's two percent. Yeah, so two percent as a decimal would be zero point zero two, and then the rest would be forty-nine thousand five hundred sixty. And we're times on that by 4.5%. So 0 0.045. Um, and you could, again, you could just do 4.5 and use percentage button there on your calculator if you want. Uh, just as long as your calculator has a percentage button. But really, it's just, for, it's just working out all of those and adding them together. So the first one there, that's 60.06. Second one is one six nine point four four, and the third one is two thousand two hundred and thirty euro and twenty cent. Okay, so you'll see there, see there the last one. That's the highest rate of tax. So there's an awful lot of tax gone in that really for USC. Um, so out of 49,200 of it is gone just on USC. So uh, add all those together anyway. And we should get 2459 and 70 cents. So that's the amount you'd pay if you pay the maximum on each of those uh, tree rates. So John's annual income is 54,800. So find the amount of USC he will pay. So 
out of that 54,800. So the first 12,012 that he earns, uh, he'll pay uh, the lowest amount, yeah, the 0 0.005, so the 0.5%. So he'll pay the first 12,012 of, of that, of this figure. So this is the amount we're kind of getting to here. So if I do 54,800, take away uh, 12,012, I get 42,788. So that's what's left to pay tax on then. Uh, so the next 8,472, he has to pay 2%, so 8,472. Uh, he must pay uh, 0 0.0, uh, what was it again? Sorry, 0 0.02. Yeah, so he must, so then if we take away another um, 8,000, four hundred and seventy two so we get six uh, one three twelve take eight is four and yeah so we've got thirty four thousand three hundred and sixteen left then so we'll have to work these out in a minute uh, so basically he's got thirty four thousand three hundred and sixteen left to pay tax on but if you look back up here, the next 49,000, so that's more than what he's got left to pay tax on. So therefore, all of the rest of his money then, um, so all of that 34,316, uh, he must pay at the highest rate. So that was 4.5%, so 0 0.045. Okay, now we can just rob the answers from the last part for the first two because we've done 12,012 times 0 0.005 before. So that's 60.06. .06, and the next one is 169.44. So you must go to the calculator then to work out this part. So 34,316 times 0 0.045. And that's 1544.22. Point two two. So this here then will be all of the tax he pays. So we can just add all those up. And we should get 1773.72. So that's all of the tax he'll pay then. So out of his uh, 54,800 that he earns, the first um, 12,012 he'll pay 0.5%. Uh, then the next 8472 he'll pay 2%. And then the last 34,316, that's what's left out of his 54,800, then he'll pay the 4.5%. So uh, he doesn't earn enough then to make it up to whatever the top rate is. We still don't know what the top rate is. So uh, that's our answer there. Right, so Mary pays this much in USC in 2020, so find her income. So this question uh, just gets a good bit harder than here at part D. So, um, if you think about back up here anyway, so she's going to have to pay some amount. She's going to have to pay the first, she's still going to have to pay this amount, the 12,012 euro at 0 point, at 0.5 uh, percent and she'll have to pay the next 8472 at the 2 percent so she's going to have to still pay these two amounts so 60.06 and uh, 169.44 Uh, so if you add those two together, you get 
so she clearly she pays more tax than that because she pays 1,672 altogether so she definitely pays the 12,012 and the 8,472 so that's some of the tax that she pays the rest of it then has to just be uh, all of this because this is the total so 160272 take away 22950 and if you take those away from each other you get 1373 um, 22 so that's the rest that she pays then so if you think about it, what percentage does she have to pay um, to get that amount so the rest of it then is most likely going to well it's going to be the 0 0.045 or the 4.5 percent so uh, we know that the rest that 4.5 percent has to be this it has to be 137322 uh, because that's the rest of the tax that she pays so if we know that then we can actually get the rest of the amount that she earns so uh, one percent so if four point five percent of it is that we can find out what one hundred percent is so one hundred percent here will be the amount she earns or the amount she pays tax um, at four point five percent it's the amount that she pays tax at four point five percent that's what we're figuring out here so to get 100% we're going to divide by 4.5 and then we're going to multiply it by 100 so I'm doing 1373 um, euro 22 divide by 4.5 so um, So we'll just put it over 4.5 and then we're taking this figure and we're multiplying it by 100. So when you do that then you should get equals 30,516. Uh, so this amount here, this is the amount that she pays the 4.5% on. So if she pays, and remember again, just double check so that that is a lower figure than 49,560. so we're just going to take this amount so 30,516 that's the amount that she pays 4.5 percent on but we must add it on to the amount that she pays two percent on and 0 0.5 percent on so we're just going to add on these two figures here so the 12,012 and the Sorry. Yeah, the eight four seven two. So, uh, it's just a matter of adding those three things up then. And we should get uh, 51,000 yeah I'm just doing it on the calculator here again uh, but you could just add up those in the column so uh, that's it so a key thing here we so we just took the amount of tax that she pays and we took away the 6006 and the 16944 because she, she has to pay them anyway because that's they're paid on the first uh, 12,012 and 8,472 and she clearly earns more than that so she has to pay those anyway and then when you take them away from the amount that she pays um, the amount of total USC that she pays you can let that equal to 4.5% and when you have that you can find out what 100% is that's 30,516 and you just add on the other two then um, that she also pays tax on so part E so Patrick has an annual income of 83,000 and pays a total of 34,000 3,496 
18 cents in USC find a top rate of USC so uh, this is the first time this top rate has been introduced then so uh, so he if you think about it, he's going to pay all of this so he's going to pay he's going to pay 12,012 at 0 0.5 percent then he's going to pay his next 8,472 at 2 percent and then he's going to pay the next 49,560 that he earns at 4.5 percent and then on top of all of that he's going to pay another whatever is left then that he um, that he earns he's going to pay it at some other rate that we have to find out and um, that then once you calculate all that then the answer would be this so we have enough information to figure it out there's only one thing that we don't have is the the, the rate we can find out easy enough uh, the balance okay that would be the first step here um, if you look back at part B there okay part B was how much USC will a worker have paid in total if they pay the maximum amount due at each of the first three rates this will be very helpful here so this amount is the total that you would pay if you max out basically at those three rates so 2459.70 um, so this is the total tax paid then at the fir at the first three rates. Okay, that's the um that's the zero point five, the two and the four point five percent. That's the total amount that he pays at those three rates. Um, so he's paid that much then. So if we take the three, four, nine, six, eighteen that he pays all together, and you take away two thousand four hundred and fifty nine seventy, and calculate that. Uh, so you get one thousand and sorry yeah 1036 and 48 cents so this is the amount that he pays at the top rate So then um, let's look at this next. So uh, he earns this much. So if he earns 83,000 and then he's already paid tax on the top, on the first kind of three amounts there. So on the 12,012, the 8,472 and the 49,560. So let's take the three of them away from, from this then. So we get twelve thousand nine hundred and fifty six. So this is the amount then that he's left to pay tax on. So basically he he must pay tax on this amount. And when he pays it at a certain rate, he gets this. So that's going to help us figure out what the rate is then. So he he must pay. Uh, so basically, you have to multiply twelve thousand nine hundred fifty-six 
by some percentage and then you'll get 1036.48 or kind of just to get what the percentage is we can just put it so we can take that amount so 1036.48 we can put that over the total uh, which is 12956 and then if you multiply that by 100 it'll calculate the percentage um, so it's just using the calculator then, then again um, and you should get 8% and then that's it then we're done so uh, that's all of question 7